It's time for an all-new episode of the Players' Lounge. As 12th-ranked Houston gears up for what could be their biggest week yet, we welcome in senior guard Galen Robinson, Jr. Galen, a couple of big games coming up this week. First off, on the road at UCF before a top 25 matchup against Cincinnati at home on Sunday. How prepared is your team for these games coming up? Uh, you know, we're extremely prepared. You know, Coach Sampson, he's did a he's done a great job with the scouting reports and uh, going through the game plan uh, very thoroughly. You know, he's a sticker for details. So, um, you know, we, we're, we're ready to, to play tomorrow. Only one team has been able to defeat your group this season, and that was Temple earlier in conference play. But last week, your team had a chance for redemption. What was the difference the second time out? Um, the difference was our, our mindset. You know, we went up there. We, uh, you know, hats off to them. They, they beat us. But uh, we played. We felt like uh, we played lethargic, didn't play with any, with any energy. And, um, you know, that's a reflection to me. And, um, you know, because it's my job to lead these guys. So I knew that the uh, second time around, I didn't want to make the same mistake. So I just made sure I was just on a thousand, and um, I just hope that they followed me. And because uh, I knew we had a great game plan, and I just, I just wanted to set the example. Uh, I just always play hard. In December, your team got to take the floor at the brand new and beautiful Fertitta Center for the first time. How has playing in that arena changed the game experience? It's it's crazy because like a lot of people ask me to describe what it feels like. It's just like if you had a Toyota and somebody just gave you a Ferrari for free. <laughs> it's like you, you, you like oh man like it's just such a it's such a great feeling playing in that arena and uh, how hard we work and uh, just to be able to play in an environment like that is just is just crazy. You've seen Hall Fines, you've seen Texas Southern, and now the brand new Fertitta Center. How has seeing that evolution and playing in all these different places made you appreciate where this program is at now? Um, really. I'm the only person that can compare, you know, the Fertitta to something. I knew what the what playing a high finds was like, you know, those dark days when it was real empty and quiet and cold. And now it's just full of life and energy. You know, it's just good to have a home, but it's even better to have a home like the Fertitta Center. And um, it's just state of the art. And I'm just blessed to be able to play in. No matter where your team is playing, whatever home court has been considered, your team has won 31 straight, which is the longest streak in the country. What is it about your home crowd that's helping your team win? Um, they just give us that little extra, you know, extra juice. And uh, at the end of the day, a uh, coach always preaches that, it, um, that a basketball court is just a 94 foot of rectangular wood. You know, it's still the game of basketball, no matter if it's played here or the Netherlands. So um, we just got to go out there and play, play our hearts out and uh, do our best to win. Now, you haven't only just seen the evolution of the different arenas your team has played in. You've seen a new practice facility come out along the way as well. But your head coach, Kelvin Sampson, has really taken this group one big step in the right direction each season. Your freshman year, no postseason appearance, sophomore year, NIT, junior season, second round of the NCAA tournament. What has been the best part so far along this journey? The best part is just, um, well, it's been seeing myself grow, but also more importantly seeing the program grow. Um, you know, the, uh, the work we put in with Coach Hanson on a day in and day out basis, you know, we, we know he knows his stuff, but, um, you know, just to see the, our hard work just get paid off and uh, just be able to go to the NCAA tournament last year, that was, it was, it was crazy because that, that was everything you dream about when you were a kid and to be able to be a part of that, it was something I can't describe. When we talked at Media Day, you mentioned that moment in the NCAA tournament and losing to Michigan for the returners, that that moment has really stuck with you. How has that motivated your team each week? Um... You know, it's always something to refer back to. Um, we know that it makes us, it kind of makes you pay attention to the, the little things in basketball, like free throw shooting and, and things like that. We know that uh, a lot of us, based off that scar that we had last year, that we, we value free throw shooting on a completely different level now. And we try to stretch that to the new guys because, you know, they just think it's just one or two points, but that's the difference between going to the national championship and being at home, you know, when you don't want to be. We just talked about Coach Sampson and how he's helped this program grow each and every year. Why is Coach Sampson able to get the very best out of his players? Uh, the reason why is because he demands it every day. Um, you have a, a certain standard you got to meet every day. And uh, if you don't meet that standard, there will be consequences and you won't like them. So it's either you meet them or you deal with the consequences. So and, uh, most, of us, most of us, we're smart enough to, uh, just to meet the standard. And uh, we, like, we like the results we get when we meet that standard. And, uh, you know, it, it's a great feeling. Galen, this is pretty impressive. You've played in 122 straight games. You have 91 wins in your career at Houston. 
What has been the most memorable part so far along this journey that isn't over quite yet? Uh, I think that remains to be seen. Uh, but I, but uh, as far as to this moment, I'd say probably winning in the tournament because, uh, you know, none of us had ever been to that on that stage of that magnitude with uh, those stakes. And uh, just to get a conference, I mean a conference, um, NCAA tournament win, it was big for us and uh, big for our city as well, as well as the program. So that was probably to this point uh, the biggest, the biggest There's moment. Yeah, there's been some great teams at Houston, especially the past couple of years, but this 12th ranking is the highest in about 35 years. Why is this team this season different than maybe some that you've played on in the last few years at Houston? Um, this team, uh, we're real close-knit. You know, a lot of teams, a lot of people, they say that about their program, but it's it's not really true. But I can honestly say, like, this team is just – it's just a, it's really a brotherhood, and I just think I, I'm just blessed to be able to have be on a team like this my senior year, and I'll be a captain on this team because these are a fun group of guys to play with. You know, I I I give them all, I give them my last, and um, I know they do the same for me. Okay, so enough of my questions. We actually, you have some fans out there, isn't that exciting yeah. to hear? <laughs> they have some questions for you too. So um, on Twitter. A fan, fan rather, named Raul Herrera, he wants to know how Coach Sampson has influenced you off the court. Off the court, um, he just helped me make that transition from a boy to a man. Um, you know, he, he teaches you a, a lot of life lessons, and I'm just looking down, just thinking about, just going through the, the various lessons he's taught me. And, um, you know, just to, you know, his impact – has really he's really left his handprint on my life and uh, you know I'm blessed to have a coach that um that genuinely cares about me and my well-being and us uh, and my success so um, it makes me want to just go out there and play that much harder for him but you know he he's a guy that he really cares about you sincerely and um you know that's that's a great trait to have as a coach we have one more fan question for you too but I want to follow up on coach Sampson um, he said that he believes coaching is a calling for you why do you think that is um, just because he, he knows how serious I take my preparation and um, how much I care about the game. And um, he, he can see how I interact with certain players. Because, you know, you can't talk to everybody the same. You got to just, you know, you got to know who you're dealing with. You know, got to cater to your client a little bit. So uh, I'm pretty good at that. And um, I just think that he just sees that, you know, he, he can see it in me. So, and I definitely see it in myself as well. So I don't, I don't doubt anything he says at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. One more question from Facebook. John Colbert, he wants to know how you want to be remembered by Houston and how you want to be remembered by your teammates after your playing days in college at least are over. Uh, as far as Houston, I just want to be the guy to be remembered as um, getting Houston basketball back to where it's supposed to be. And, um, you know, based on our current trajectory, I feel like that'll be my, my you know, my, what I'm remembered by. And I also want to be remembered as um, a great winner, selfish leader, and um, just a guy who just gave it his all every time he stepped on the court. And uh, as far as my teammates, I just want I just want them to remember me as a guy who sincerely cared about them, and um, you know, willing to do whatever for them, and um, just have their back through any situation. Okay, one final curveball for you. This one isn't a question from a fan, but we're gonna show you this photo. As you're sitting, you're sitting in the hotel in Orlando right now. We're gonna show you this photo of yourself, and I want to see if you remember when this photo was taken, and then I have a challenge for you. All right. <laughs> Okay, so do you remember this photo? When was this taken? We play LSU. <laughs> Post LSU, bright, beautiful, brand new for Tita Center. Okay, so the game that we're gonna play here is we're gonna pretend, and if you have already done this, don't tell me, um, you're gonna Instagram this photo. What's your caption gonna be for this? Bittersweet symphony. I like it. We were also thinking something like, so I guess Saturday is National Pizza Day. Um, and so we here in the office, we're thinking something like that moment when you see pizza or you've ordered pizza, <laughs> something along those lines. But <laughs> your caption is good, too. <laughs> Galen, thank you so much for taking some time on the road. Uh, good luck this week against UCF in Cincinnati and best of luck to the team the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.